ABC Acres. And I'm Brett Malingo. And we're outside of our high tunnels and it is 40 degrees outside, sleeting and snowing, and we still got stuff growing inside. We're gonna take a quick look into uh, Artemis here. This is our largest of the two high tunnels here on the farm. Uh, we actually carried uh, spinach through the winter this year and uh, consolidating sugars within spinach with a hard frost is uh, amazing what it does to the spinach itself. Yeah, and we'll give you a little update as to uh, the developments we're making in our Apollo high tunnel. So we're currently inside of Artemis, uh, once again the largest high tunnel here on the farm. Uh, we're overlooking a spinach crop that we planted last September that we've overwintered in here. Obviously uh, it has been frigid outside, we've had uh, negative degree numbers outside, yet it remains a constant 40 to 50 degrees here in this high tunnel. Um, with the environment and the plastic that's going on and the mulch that is uh, captured within this high tunnel, we can continually grow crops basically 24-7, 365 with, with the innovation of the high tunnel. Um, spinach is a, considered a spring crop, a cold environment crop, that, therefore we can plant that in the fall and overwinter it and it continues to grow very slowly, mind you, due to the lack of uh, the UV light or sunlight uh, on a daily basis, but we get very intense flavors through spinach by overwintering them and letting it get into the cold, the cold digits, and letting the sugars really intensify within the within the spinach. Yeah, you really did yourself this time, Brett. It's uh, yeah, very overpowering sweet. I've never had spinach this sweet before. That's uh, really really impressive. So that's one of the cool things about spinach, uh, being able to overwinter it. Um, believe it or not, you can actually grow spinach outside. Uh, you can do the whole broom, broom effect with snow, uh, brooming it off and, and picking it, but obviously within this environment, keeping it at you know the balmy, you know, obviously above freezing, above 32 degrees, uh, we get an amazing crop. And this is a crop that we can grow all, basically all winter long uh, for our winter staples in the household. Great. Well, we'll take a quick look into our Apollo tunnel and we'll show you that shortly. We're back here in our Apollo tunnel. Excuse the mess. We got uh, a little construction going on. We're actually rebuilding our beds. We're turning them into raised beds and doing that because it'll retain moisture as well as retain heat. Uh, the, you know, our, our cold Montana nights tends to suck all the heat of the ground so having to raise beds will retain some of that. We're building them out of cedar which cedar lasts about five times as long as uh, regular pine so these beds are going to last quite a, quite a while. Uh, as well as what we got going on is um, we have our weed mat as well as mulch going in to throw it off uh, any sort of weeds that will come up. Also with that uh, and previously in odd 18 in our growing season, this was our pepper tunnel, uh, we basically just did a uh, raised mound bed within, within the high tunnel. And through the course of the summer of weeding and doing what we do here in the tunnel, uh, propagation of our peppers and all that stuff, the beds tend to spread out. So with this new raised bed system, we're going to keep our dirt compost in, in nice, neat, narrow roads, and we're not going to be chasing the dirt across the wood mulch that we've laid down on the ground keeping a much cleaner environment and a lot easier to maintain for weeds as well as plant maintenance uh, across the board. And as well as, uh, you know, getting the amendments put in the soil instead of just broadcasting through our tunnel. We now have nice neat beds that we can, obviously you can see uh, the dirt, the coffee grounds as well as potash. We're adding nitrogen, we're adding P and K, uh, phosphorus and potassium, as well as uh, calcium with eggshells. Uh, we're doing all of our amendments this time of year trying to get them ready for the OT-19 growth season. This once again will be our pepper tunnel. We're going to have approximately 250 to 300 pepper plants in here, five, dif five different varieties. Um, so it should be a really uh, impressive grow year here in this tunnel. Great. Well, that just about wraps it up. Well, I'm Brett Malingo. And I'm Tim P. Next time, happy growing. Happy growing.